So business owners have a lot on their plate and worrying about customers tripping and falling as they go in and out of their business is not something they want to worry about. Today we're at Basil's, which is an awesome restaurant located in Aurora, Illinois. Um, and they called us because they have some serious trip hazards around their property that I'm going to point out to you. This is a big problem, especially for a busy restaurant like this, open seven days a week. They have customers that are constantly coming in and out of their front door. And you can see here, they have a huge trip hazard right where their heaviest traffic is. Okay, We're looking at a three inch height difference from the pavement to the top of that curb. That is lawsuit city for a business. Major area where people are walking. Luckily, there's a really quick, easy solution, which is to lift it, which is what we're gonna do today. Um, so our guys are warming up their material. They're getting ready to get this back in the position. Now, the one challenge that this customer has is they can't shut down operations, okay? They can't shut down this front area, so it's critical that we get this job done before they open up for the lunchtime rush. Our guys have a few hours to get this done, which I think they will. Um, once we're done, we'll be out of here and it's gonna be like a, we were never here. Well, that's a wrap. Our team just finished up here uh, with the project, and I would say mission accomplished. This went exactly how we wanted it to, just how we planned it. Um, when I was here this morning, there was a three inch gap right over here where customers are walking in and out. That's all gone. The whole entire front sidewalk's level. The only thing left to do here, and this is going to be another company, is adjust these brick pavers because um, those are still sunk in, but those we don't lift with the polylift system. But all the concrete's back and level, and we got about two, three hours before they open up operations, which is great. We came in here, didn't disrupt anything. We got this done in a few hours, and it was clean, quick process. Now, when it comes to lifting concrete, especially in a situation like this, um, you really have three options here is you know as far as uh, addressing this problem number one the customer could have replaced all the concrete um, that definitely would have been probably the best in terms of cosmetics you would have had brand new concrete the biggest drawback with that option obviously is cost the price of concrete replacement now is is skyrocketed something like this you're looking twenty thirty thousand dollars maybe to replace whereas with lifting it's a fraction of that the second drawback is that the property owner would have to shut down operations for at least three days. That is not an option here with a busy restaurant that's open seven days a week. Um, so that would be probably not even feasible to do. Um, so the next option would be doing mud jacking, which has kind of been around for a long time. Uh, mud jacking is very similar to what we do with the polylift. It would have been a, a fairly quick process. Um, they would, we came in here, lifted it. Um, the drawback to that is that mud jacking is not really a permanent repair. Because it's a sand slurry mix, it tends not to last as long. Um, also too, the holes that we drill into the concrete are a lot larger, more noticeable, and more likely to kind of break apart over time. Um, and then the last drawback is that you wouldn't be able to step on this concrete for at least 24 hours to allow that slurry to dry. Again, not feasible with this operation. So that leads to the third option, which is polylift. Um, polyurethane sets instantly, um, so you could go back to using this concrete as soon as the crew is done cleaning up. Um, and then in terms of durability, polyurethane is a waterproof material. It's not going to wash away and break down. Extremely dense, solid material too. Um, and we back it up with a six year warranty. Um, so it is considered a more permanent repair than mud jacking. So this particular project, this customer chose to go with polyurethane for those reasons. Um, and the quick turnaround is probably the biggest reason because this restaurant is open um, and we, we can't be you know, uh, blocking off the entrance. This worked out perfectly in this situation. So this was a great project. Um, I think the, uh, the, the, 
the owner of the restaurant here is, is very pleased. His customers are going to be very pleased not having to trip over the concrete anymore. Uh, so in general, I, you know, the customer's happy, I'm happy. Time to move on to the next project.